Welcome back to Hammock Radio. I'm Jason, KTSG, and I'm back here at my old stomping grounds, Delaware State Park, U.S. 1946, and the trains are here with me. I uh, figured I'd come out here today on a nice sunny summer warm day, finally, and uh, give the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop another go. Uh, I didn't have all the stuff I really wanted to test out the Tactical Delta Loop on the beach. It was more of a, let's just get on the air on the beach and try it, and it worked, but I wanted to give it another go with... Uh, a better setup, some more equipment, and I brought 100 watts with me. So let's uh, see how we do. All right, so here's the setup. We got the uh, Chameleon Tactical Delta Lube. It's got the Hybrid Mini. It's got its splitter here on its, its desk bike. And uh, two, uh, I think these are 17 foot whips. And then if you go all the way up, it's got a a wire that runs between them to connect them. I know I went over all this um, on the beach, but thought I'd give it another try, get some better close-ups. So, all right, and here's the setup. I've got the uh, I got my laptop. I got the 705 doing digital stuff wirelessly. I brought my good tuner this time. The uh, what Matt 705 is what it's called, Matt tuner. Uh, and then I have over here 100 watts with the 891. I'll put that on later for some sideband. And as usual, I have my power set up with the Buddy Pole Power Mini, a big battery, and then my 60 watt solar panel. Uh, correction, Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf, Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf, Kilo 8 Tango Sierra Golf, QSL. Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf, Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf. Roger, roger. Okay, what's your call, your part number? You're uh, 59 into US 1946, 1946, QSL. Roger, roger. QSL, QSL, you're also still a 5-9. Thanks for uh, coming back to me. 7-3. Hey, thanks for being out there. Thanks for writing us down. 73. 7-3. QRZ. Okay, so we got a park. All right, so I got a contact on 17 meters. I tried 20, and I could barely hear people, and there's a Florida Cusa party, so it's, it's busy. And 20 is always kind of a crapshoot for me in the afternoon. Uh, the bands are getting kind of wobbly, I guess. Uh, I caught it up here, finally, but I uh, came down to 17 meters made a contact. Uh, I went from like a 5.2 to 5.7, I think, 5.2 to 5.6, yeah. and uh, right when I tried to go out to find other people, it just died. There's, I can't hear anything <laughs> on 17 now. <laughs> there's, there's a few people out there and I don't hear nothing, so... I'm going to poke around and see if I can find something else somewhere else. Hello, Echo 5, Yankee, Yankee, Charlie. Uh, calling in, listening. Kilo 8, Tango Sierra Golf, park to park. Uh, park to park, try again. Kilo 8, Tango Sierra Golf, Kilo 8, Tango Sugar Golf, QSL. Copy the 5-3 or 5-9 into U.S. 1946. That's 1946. QSL? Uh, 1946, and then I should put a 5-9. Yeah, uh, lots of tougher receive on this side out west as it's happened so far. Hopefully it opens up. Thanks for the park to park. Tango X-ray, QRZ. Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf, park to park. Kilo Golf before November Alpha, Papa, I believe. Is that correct? QSL, 
are in, uh, in uh, the Park US 4422-4422 in Tango X-ray. Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf, park to park. Alright, Kilo 8 Tango Sugar Golf, you are 5-9 in the park US 4973, QSL? QSL, QSL, you're also 5-9 in the US 1946, 1946, QSL? QSL, park US 1946. Roger, Roger, thanks for being out there, 7-3. Alright, so I did quite a bit better today. I activated the park on digital because I was trying to go up and down different bands and I did some whisper. Um, it did pretty good for digital. I was only doing 10 watts out of the 705. I'll put a map of my FT8 contacts up here and then I'll put a map of the whisper map or whisper contacts. Uh, I did two whisper runs. The first one I ran north and south or you know with the broad side of the antenna pointing north and south. And then the second run I did I had the antenna rotated so the broad side was pointing east to west. I wanted to see what kind of um, radiation pattern I could get out of that and just see how far it could get one way or the other. The bands were kind of up and down today. 20 is just now opening up at like 3.17 in the afternoon, but I got other stuff I got to do. Uh, trying to like make contacts with some of the people out there. I could hear them and then they just disappear. So that's how it goes. Uh, I did get down to like 17 meters and 15 meters and somewhere in there I, I got some contacts. Um, overall voice was kind of hit or miss, but the people I did get to, uh, once the band came up, they heard me great. So I get five, six to five, nine out of it. So overall, I like this antenna. It does really well. Now that I have it in a more controlled environment where I can spend some time actually uh, getting everything put together. Uh, when I have it down here ground mounted, 20 is still like 2.3 to 1, so I use a tuner on it. But for the other bands um, above that, it's all under 2, so that works out great. So 15, 17, 12, 10, and I think 30 even came in pretty good. Uh, 40 is like 3 -ish to 1, I think it was. Um, so it's still usable on this if you need to. But overall, I like it. Um, it, it it's quick to set up and quick to tear down. The only thing I wish I could do is like somehow keep it from spinning because it'll windmill in the air pretty easily uh, if there's a big enough gust. So you'll be pointing east to west and then it'll just be pointing north south and you won't have anything to do with it. So. Uh, Having the coax kind of wrapped around it helps a little bit. Um, might have to come up with some kind of way to anchor it. Or if they, I don't know, maybe redo the spike so it has like um, like some, some prongs on the side of it. Like a little uh, fins so that when you stick it in the ground it can't spin. That'd be nice. Uh, I know they use a spike for all their antennas. So maybe when it comes to a vertical it's not a big deal. But when you got something with some uh, wind load... It, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, I had that problem on the beach too. So if they could modify this spike somehow to just have fins on the side to keep it from spinning, that'd be awesome. Um, other than that, I like the antenna. I did notice when I ran a Whisper and some of the FT8, when I put them on the map, uh, there's quite a big skip zone around this. So I don't think I picked up any context till like just past Illinois. And I think I got East Coast. But I didn't get anything local to me, so that's not a surprise, but I was hoping being ground mounted I could get a little bit closer in uh, since it's a delta loop, but is what it is. So real quick, let's make this a vertical and then I'll run a whisper on it. Um, I, I don't think I'll be able to hear much better when it comes to SSB or sideband contacts. Um, there's a Florida QSO party going on right now, so good luck finding anyone other than those guys. All right, here's what it looks like as a vertical. Uh, I took the center hub out. I just put it straight into the spike, kind of like all their other antennas. For the um, ground radial, you just take the wire that goes between the two 17-foot uh, whips. 
Yeah, and you just put it on the, the uh, ground stud right here. It just has a little clip guide on it. And then you run it out. So there you have it, two park activation for the Chameleon Delta Loop. Um, I recommend this antenna. It's super easy and super portable-ish. The 17-foot uh, whips uh, take up quite a bit of space. I have just a piece of PVC pipe. I've stuck them in um, with a cap on the bottom, so then I can keep everything together with the uh, spike, and then I just put everything else in the bag. But uh, I think it's pretty portable, just like their vertical antennas they have. But this one, uh, of course, it's a delta loop, so it hears really well, and it gets out. Um, but it's broadside, so keep that in mind. And I think it's uh, about 500 bucks if you want to buy it from them. And with this one, with the hybrid mini, it's 500 watts sideband, 100 watts CW, and 50 watts digital, I think. So that's more than enough. And it covered me all the way up to 40 meters. Um, and you only need a 200 for lower bands. So, or at least 20 and lower. But until next time, 7-3.